Alright. We made it to Pewter City. I beat Brock pretty easily, I guess, but um, in the time between the last episode and this one, I decided to go ahead and work on my team some more, and I actually <laughs> went and caught and raised and evolved a few more Pokemon. Uh, still Bulbasaur, but probably not for much longer. Just a couple more levels to go. Still Pidgey, same story as Bulbasaur. I got a Mankey, of course, still. Yep, I got a Butterfree. A Beedrill. And I finally went back and I finally caught Pikachu. Everybody is between level 10 and 15, so... With a boulder badge, and plenty of increased resolve, I guess, we head for Route 3. Now, I was telling you guys in the last episode, the reason why I decided to go with a boy character this time instead of a girl character is because of some awkward verbal situations, interactions between... NPCs and your character and this last NPC right here is the very first of those now it doesn't seem that awkward if you have a boy character but if you have a girl character it can be pretty weird hi -ya. excuse me you looked at me, didn't you? Um... Okay... Sure, I guess... Maybe... Pitchy, pitchy, potato... Yeah, until you get to the uh, Pokemon Center on Route 4, right outside of Mount Moon, there's going to be quite a few battles to go through. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, I'm not going to risk it fighting another Pidgey. <laughs> With a Bulbasaur. Let's go with... Yep, Pikachu. <laughs> Thundershock, ho! <huh>? No. <laughs> oh, you suck. Okay. That's it. And the sad thing about a Pikachu is they don't really learn any really good electric type attacks until level 26 when they learn Thunderbolt. Until then, they just learn really crappy moves like um, Quick Attack, Slam, and all those kinds of things. <laughs> Let's switch Bulbasaur, since the next trainer we're going to fight is a bug catcher. <laughs> and I want to have a Pidgeotto, at least, before I go to the Cerulean Gym. I don't know why they call it Caterpie. I mean, I understand the... Either the I or the E is silent, but I don't know. For the hell of it, I like to call it Caterpie. <laughs> I don't know. Pie is good. Pie is king.
Yeah, I'm just going to show a couple of battles. This will be a pretty quick deal. Level 16. Oh yeah, this kid claims he saw you in Viridian Forest. I don't remember fighting him, but whatever. Hi, I like shorts. Yeah, I'll bet you do. <laughs> yeah, I like shorts. Hey, look, it's a rat. <laughs> Very first encounter with an Ekans, which you won't be able to catch until you get to the outskirts of Cerulean City, so... <laughs> This is a sneak preview, I guess. Bam. Oop, guess not. Yeah, I'm gonna finish this fight, and I may have, like, one more, and then I'm gonna show you guys a pretty cool secret. That many people have walked past before. Right down here in this alcove, right in front of where I'm standing right now, is a little bitty dark spot that you can easily see if you're standing right here. And that usually means a hidden item, or in this case, an orin berry. <laughs> and that's the first berry you come across. And we'll pick this up in the next one.